Howdy do, this is Colin Smith, aka The Captain, and I'm coming at you with uh, another Captain's Vlog. It's my kind of rambling series about, I don't know, the life, universe, and happiness, and all that other jazz, number 42. Next week is the Star Wars premiere, and uh, I have the I have tickets to opening night, and it's going to be a blast, hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to wait in line too long since I already got my tickets. Uh, but I'll probably get there two plus hours beforehand, give or take. Uh, also got ka -chow, a new lightsaber. Um, I used to have the old Mace Windu ones when I went to the uh, prequel uh, movies, just because I, it was new. A purple lightsaber, kind of kind of badass. I think this is kind of bringing everything in and out of focus a lot. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, however, I ju and I also just recently went through all the Star Wars, uh, the, the past episodes. Um, I started with 4 through 6, as you should. Uh, Han shot first. Remember that, folks. Han shot first. And then uh, completed 1 through 3 uh, after the fact. Still have a hard time watching Hayden Christensen act, if they call that acting. Ugh. I really. Anyways, so I'm excited about that. I've been, I still been playing uh, Battlefront with uh, Chris and now Mike, our friend Mike or Chris's younger brother uh, got an Xbox One, so he will be joining us probably once a week, I would guess, uh, playing Battlefront with us or any other game that he might get. He has two kids, so he's a little bit on the the busier side compared to to me and Chris. So that's fun. Uh, Battlefront is, well, it is, Chris kind of said it the best that, you know, they really nailed down the aesthetics. The graphics are gorgeous. The sounds are amazing. And the two good game modes, basically Walker Assault, and I, I do like flying around above the battle in the, I don't know what the mode's called, but you get to just pilot vehicles and it's vehicles versus vehicles which is fun I, I like that part however outside those and it's kind of a shallow game it seems kind of a, as a money grab unfortunately uh, also the DLC season pack is $50 which is outrageous and that will probably contain all of the missing pieces that we're missing from Battlefront 2 uh, Battlefront 2 had like 25 some odd maps, they had outer space battles and there was more vehicles and just more of everything. They also had the prequels which, I mean, it adds more depth to everything. So that's kind of disappointing. I'm hoping I'm hoping that at least with this season pass maybe they'll add some. I haven't decided if I'm going to get it. Uh, I'm a huge Star Wars fan so I probably will end up biting the bullet, but uh, I recommend waiting until you see what's in it first. That's what I'm gonna do. So, those that's my strong recommendations. Also, uh, just kind of take coming away from all the Star Wars topics is uh, uh, Just Cause Three was released last week, as well as Rainbow Six Siege. From what I'm hearing, so, uh, Rainbow Six Siege is again kind of a shallow shooter. Outside of the main idea of the game, there's not much depth to it you know it's just a multiplayer game multiplayer shooter is it worth sixty dollars probably not it's probably more like a thirty to forty dollar game so if you can get it for that price it's probably a good game i wouldn't know i haven't really i've been actually I, so i own it but i actually don't have i haven't had the chance to play it so looking to play that at some point in the next week and then also just cause three which i've heard I've heard pretty decent things. It's probably, if on a scale to 110, I've heard about an 8. Basically, you fly around blow shitting, blowing stuff up in Italy. That's, that's, that, that's the gist of that game. But the physics and the destruction level of that game is crazy. So, that it just seems like a barrel full of fun. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And then, uh, received my copy of Ant-Man yesterday. And, was it yesterday? Tuesday, yes. Received it yesterday and uh, rewatched 
Ant-Man, and uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it, I recommend seeing it. Uh, it's fun, it's lighthearted. Uh, it does kind of fall into the similar Marvel grain, you know, with the, the bad guy not really being much of a bad guy at all and end up dying in the end of the film. Spoiler alert. But uh, Michael Pena, best part of that film. And if you watch the film, you'll know why. So recommend seeing that. Also, if you're into the, all the Marvel films, it's a good connecting link because Ant-Man's going to show up in the next Captain America Civil War film. So, And speaking of that, the Captain America Civil War trailer was launched last week on Jimmy Kimmel Live, and that trailer was awesome. Uh, Black Panther, uh, yes. It looked, he looked amazing, uh, and just that beatdown of Iron Man at the end was so satisfying. Uh, I'm a huge Captain fan myself, so looking forward to seeing that just as long as Cap doesn't die at the end. If you're a comic book fan, you would kind of understand why you could be nervous going into this film. But I, I, I do like Bucky Winter Soldier, so even if Steve Rogers, Chris Evans, did die in the film... I feel like he would be in decent hands, so that that's kind of my take. And then also, DC followed it up with their Batman vs. Superman trailer, and uh, they basically gave away the entire plot of the film in about five minutes. So basically, it boils down to Lex Luthor is playing Batman vs. Superman, and, and then they probably have some conflict... And then after that, Doomsday shows up, who's basically Zod, who was reanimated by by Lex Luthor. And now it's Wonder Woman shows up, and now it's the Trinity versus Doomsday. Roll credits. And that's basically the whole trailer, believe it or not. That, that's, they show all of that, basically. So I don't know what you're doing, DC. Uh, I, and I, I, I'm not just a Marvelite either. I like Batman, and I, I, competition is always good. And so if DC can put out great material, it will push Marvel even better to create even better material. So if DC fails, then there's not really much competition for Marvel. So I don't know what you're doing, DC, but fix your shit. Uh, hopefully it comes out good, but sigh but that'll do it for me uh i will catch you on my next captain's vlog and remember to like and subscribe down below and uh signing out